longest direct non-stop flight in the world today is between Singapore to New Jersey. It's a whooping journey of 9,534 miles that takes 18 and a half hours. An even farther journey is Apollo 13's, which took its crew around the far side of the moon, 248,655 miles away from Earth. It took them roughly three days to get there. But there's one journey that blows the previous two straight out of the water. The journey of a NASA spacecraft called Voyager 1, which at the time of shooting this is more than 13 and a half billion miles away from Earth. It's been zipping through space for almost 42 years straight. Voyager 1 is the most distant human-made object from Earth and, undoubtedly, humanity's farthest journey. The reason I'm bringing this up is... a photo. While Voyager 1 was leaving the solar system, it was commanded by NASA to turn its cameras around and take one last photo of Earth. That photo is... unbelievable. But to appreciate its marvel, we need to go back to 1965. Welcome to the first video in a three-part series of reflections about outer space. In each video we'll recount a story from space and try to extract a meaning from it that can hopefully help us reflect something deeper about the world and ourselves. Let's begin. The story begins in the summer of 1965. NASA discovered that in a few years, the four outer planets of our solar system were going to align in such a way that a spacecraft sent in their direction could use the gravity of each planet to swing on to the next one. Those planets had never been explored from up close before, and their alignment was an insane window of opportunity, one that occurs only once every 175 years. If NASA wanted to catch it in time, they needed to be quick. The project, aiming to explore two of those planets, Jupiter and Saturn, was dubbed Voyager, and in 1977, after painstaking preparations, it launched. Three, two, one. We have ignition and we have liftoff. We have liftoff of the Titan Centaur carrying the first of two Voyager spacecraft to extend man's senses farther into the solar system than ever before. Voyager 1 is the hero of our story. It was built and designed to last for five years in space, and within three, it met its goals. Voyager 1 made some crucial discoveries that revolutionized the science of planetary astronomy. Observations of rings, magnetic fields, atmospheres, moons, Voyager 1 sent back enough information to literally rewrite astronomy textbooks. After collecting all that data, the Voyagers finished their mission and were ready to head back to Earth. However, the mission had proved itself so successful that NASA decided to extend it. Using remote control reprogramming, the Voyagers' capabilities were enhanced. From a lifetime of 5 years, they were granted 12, and later on even more. Voyager 2 continued to observe the other two planets, Uranus and Neptune, while Voyager 1 took a different trajectory that would eventually lead it out of our solar system and beyond. On February 14, 1990, NASA commanded Voyager 1 to turn its cameras around and take one last photo of Earth, before those cameras were shut down forever to reserve the spacecraft's power. NASA knew a picture like that would have no scientific value, but astronomer Carl Sagan, who requested to take it, believed a picture like that would still be of significance. And oh boy was he right. After close to 13 years of sipping through space at the unimaginable speed of 10.5 miles a second on average, Voyager 1 turned its cameras and took its last picture ever. A picture of Earth. And this is that picture. No, this is not a mistake. This is the amazing photo I was talking about. And if you're wondering what the hell you're seeing, well, this is Earth. A pale blue dot of less than a pixel in the vastness of space. That's here, that's home, that's us. On it, 
Everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. All our joys and sufferings, religions, ideologies and economic doctrines, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every mother and father, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species, lived there on a mode of dust suspended in a sunbeam. This was part of a public lecture Carl Sagan did in Cornell University in 1994. He continued on saying, Think of the rivers of blood spilled by generals and emperors so that in glory and triumph could become the momentary masters of a fraction of a dot. Think of all the cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of that dot, on scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of some other corner of that dot. He then concluded, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly and compassionately with one another, and to preserve and cherish that pale blue dot, the only home we've ever known. This picture received the name a pale blue dot, and since taking it, Voyager 1 has been speeding away in space and will, most probably, continue doing that until the end of times. But when I look at this picture, what I find amazing is not only how small Earth seems in it, but mostly the fact of this picture's existence a human-made object flew 3.7 billion miles away, took a picture of us, and transmitted it all the way back. Alongside with the rest of its revelations, Voyager 1 is nothing short of the stuff of dreams. However, it's a dream made real, thanks to nothing else but the ingenuity, efforts, will, and confidence of us humans, from that pale blue dot. So this photo shows how small we are, but the fact of its existence proves we're not small at all. This picture is humbling, but the fact of its existence is empowering. This picture reminds me, and should remind anyone, to put our issues in the right perspective, because in the big scheme of things, we're just tiny. But the fact this picture exists should reinforce in us that no matter how severe those issues feel, with ingenuity, effort, will and confidence, we can overcome them all. Because in that small scheme of things, we are huge. Be deeper. Hi everyone. Hope you enjoyed and found value in this video. If you did, please don't forget to click the like button. On next week's video, I'll be discussing a special item NASA put inside the Voyagers to introduce our Earth in case they encounter alien life forms. Yes, this is for real. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss it. And let me know in the comments, what do you think and feel when you see the picture? I'd love to hear it. I'll see you next week. Hombre.